You thought you gonna get what I already got. Cut. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. Coach Prime just landed himself an absolute fish. Nay, a whale. Nay, a Goliath grouper from the bottom of the ocean. The big footer. The real, the rod bender. Brought him all the way in from the bottom of the ocean. Wide receiver, Will Shepard. Son, you're getting a little hyped up over wide receiver. This is a big pool, boys and girls, okay? Over 600 yards receiving in the SEC with sophomore quarterback A.J. Swan slinging the rock to him. He was the guy at Vanderbilt, okay? At a place where nobody is the guy. And he's out here catching over 600 yards, 13th overall in the SEC for total yards. This is going to be a monster pickup for Shador Sanders and the Colorado Buffs. This man stands at a whopping six foot three, 198 pounds. He had 47 receptions for 684 yards. AJ Swan had 1,400 yards passing last year. You do the math, okay? Will Shepard was a eight machine for him, okay? 18, eight touchdowns, excuse me, averaging 15 yards a clip. Massive haul here. These are This has got to be one of the more exciting pickups for Colorado thus far. I know offensive linemen, they don't have the flash like wide receivers do, but I'm telling you, a top 100 player in the portal. He's ranked 32nd in the portal currently. But you got a lot of four- and five-star guys that haven't really produced in the field that have a lot of upside that carry some more weight than somebody like a Will Shepard. But I promise you right now, a senior guy like this, the length that he has, what he's already been able to do against top-tier top tier talent in the SEC where he's constantly being double-teamed, and he has A.J. Swan, a sophomore, Nat Shador, Heisman finalist candidate, slinging the rock alongside having other talented wide receivers allowing things to open up here. To kind of keep that in mind on what Colorado is adding to the team right here. This is a big one. This is an exciting one. If you're a Buff, Buff fan, obviously you are. If you click on this video, got to be fired up for this pickup here. I know Vanderbilt had some other quarterbacks for AJ, AJ Swan stepped in. But most importantly, again, the quarterback situation at Vanderbilt is nowhere near what it is like at Colorado. I do want to talk about now where this place is, Colorado. For the transfer portal, where they're going to sit now after this new addition from the transfer portal. They were third just the other day, I believe, maybe fourth, I believe. They have now scooted all the way up to second right behind Louisville. And again, a lot of this has to do with, with the value of the player that's coming in versus the value that's gone out. They've had 11 transfer out with an average player rating of 66.45. They've had nine transfer in with an average player rating of 77.33. Never been a math guy, but I like the I like the transition there. I like the change. Big time move for a, for a big time uh, operation headed into this year. And they also sent out a big time offer. Defensive lineman. I'm gonna butcher this name, so I do apologize. Chidozi Nagakwa. I believe is how it's pronounced. Don't beat me up. Out of Houston, Colorado. Houston has been a farming ground for Colorado. We don't have any insight on the percentages of where he's going to end up currently, but we talked about a defensive line from Alabama in a previous video. Obviously, that is going to be a big point of emphasis for Colorado as well, that defensive line. So, boys and girls, keep your eyes out. I heard the weekend is going to be a jumping, a bumping, and a rocking and a roll. So, you don't want to miss it. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe. Obviously, when things pop and drop, we're ready to go here on this channel. Make sure that bell is turned on because when the thing clicks, we're rocking and rolling. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.